The Unfiltered by Jade. Jade. Welcome to The Unfiltered by Jade, where we educate, empower, and entertain. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, download, donate, and make everybody know who this. Beats by RB Records. Shopping assistance, your style, your budget. Our services include online and local shopping for individuals and businesses, personal shopping, purchasing of company and office supplies, importing and exporting small packages across Jamaica and worldwide, and helping you find unique gifts and items for all events and occasions. Contact us at 876-919-5195 or shopping assistance 2015 at gmail.com shopping assistance your style your budget how do you use zencaster if you have thought about podcasting before and realized that you need a lot of different tools and services those days are over with Zencaster's all-in-one podcasting platform, you can create podcasts all in one place and distribute to Spotify, Apple, and other major destinations. Go to Zencaster.com slash pricing and use my code unfiltered10 and you'll get 30% off your first month of any Zencaster paid plan. I want you to have the same easy experiences I do for my podcasting and content needs. It's time to share your story. Sun and Swell Foods is the nation's first online plastic-free grocery store. Shop their assortment of delicious healthy foods in plastic-free compostable packaging. They are delicious, 100% plant-based, 100% gluten-free, 100% real foods, no added preservatives or ingredients, come in compostable packaging. If you are looking for a more planet-friendly pantry, shop Sun and & Swell and get 20% off site-wide when you go to sunandswellfoods.com and use promo code UNFILTERED10 at checkout. That's 20% off your entire order when you use UNFILTERED10 at sunandswellfoods.com. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you for joining us. We're going to be discussing something really interesting and something we can all identify with. It's about a time for light. And I know for those who are given to different genres of music, um, it, it quickly Sean Paul jumps to mind and we're not talking about the light that he's asking for in his very popular song, but we're talking about the light that we see showing up in the first five verses of the Bible, three of them are actually about light. So by the time you get to Genesis 2, you hear about darkness. But 3, 4, and 5 are focused on light. So right out of the, you know, out of the gates, you're hearing that light is really important for whatever it is is about to happen as it relates to creation, as it relates to human beings, and we see it playing out in our day-to-day -day lives. Our farming without light is impossible. Much of what needs to happen as it relates to just how we live, how we go about our day-to-day -day business, even how our bodies work is based on light. Um, in countries that they have really uh, long nights or really long days, it actually throws off the rhythm of sleep for those people who live in these different areas in the world. So light is extremely important. The other thing is, it forces us to think of the fact that light is an absence of darkness. And there are days when we have a lot of darkness around us, whether it's because of our power bill not being paid, whether it's because of challenges with the family, with the kids, with a partner, whatever it is, not everybody spends every day in the light. As a matter of fact, 
being cut off in traffic will teach you about yourself and you'll realize that there's some darkness laying just under the surface and you really need the light. In the Bible, depending on which version you read, there are over 400 references to light. I think in Psalms 18:28, there's a really interesting reference made by King David after God has rescued him from his enemies. And it talks about two approaches to light. He first asks that God lights his candle. So God's sharing his light with him. But then he goes on and he says, now that you've given me your light, you've extended my life, you've given me your energy, your power, your brightness, I want you also to enlighten my path. And that's a very powerful message going into 2024. No matter what darkness you were exposed to, just like in Genesis 1 and 2 where God came in and it was about darkness and it was all dark, and he decided that the best thing to do was create light. We're going to be like David, where we're not going to ask for just wealth or health or prosperity. We actually want to have light. Light so we can help light other people's candles. And also light so we can see the way ahead in a very clear way. So if you're going along a path of darkness, if you're going through a place where you're feeling alone, where it's not as bright, it's not as clear as you wanted it to be, always remember that light is important and we actually can ask for light. Whether it's if you're given to a spiritual belief system, you can ask for light from your creator. But you also can get light from those around you. The positive energy, just being in a space where people who can speak positives into your space, into your journey, actually get an input. They get a seat at your table. And if they come with darkness, anyone that brings darkness and negativity and sucks the light from the room, this is your passport. This is your visa to leave them behind. Get lit. Get a candle. Get it lit. Get your path enlightened and ensure that you are always trending towards the light. So, for 2024, give me the light. Let that be your mantra. Let that be your focus. Let that be your pursuit. Because while we may spend time in darkness, it's always better to spend time in the light. Thank you for joining us. I hope this perspective will give you just some new thoughts about how we can journey into 2024 and really just make the very best of the light. Every year has about three, let me see, 31 million 536 seconds, if I remember correctly. So you, these are actually opportunities for you to just get lit, get Get enlightened, surround yourself with positive energy, and just seek out spaces that allow you to get on a better pathway. Spend time in the light. Spend time getting encouraged by others. Spend time being a blessing to others. Let the light pour from you into those around you. Thank you for joining us. Have an amazing journey into the light. Bam, 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 bam,